Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to tell you seven ways that your freezer can save you money, time, and energy. Hey, my name is Dr. Anna Maria Temple and I'm your holistic pediatrician on call. My specialty is eczema and my mission is to inspire, educate, and empower families to raise healthy children in this unhealthy world. Right now you may be wondering like, why is a pediatrician going to give you kitchen shortcuts and secrets from the freezer? Well, one of the things that I am very passionate about is nutrition because we know that abs are made in the kitchen. Well, guess what? So is children's wellness. It begins in the kitchen and it begins with nutrition. One of the things I hear so much about is that it takes a lot of money to eat healthy. It takes a lot of time and energy to eat healthy. So I'm trying to break through those barriers and show you different ways that we can make this so much easier and so much less expensive. So today we're going to start with the freezer. In my last video, I went to Costco and did my Costco shopping trip. And going to Costco can be overwhelming for families that are small or use only a little bit of products compared to larger families that use everything that is at Costco. So today I'm going to show you a couple to make your life so much easier and less expensive. Freezer secret number one that you may not know is mushrooms. At Costco, you get this giant vat of mushrooms and I use it to make my recipe for this evening, for example, and then I freeze the rest. Let me show you how I do it. Take the mushrooms and I pat them dry. You could certainly chop them up before you put them in the freezer bag, but that is exhausting and it's really not a big deal. When you, when you freeze a mushroom and you take it out of the freezer, you put it on the counter for five minutes and then you can chop them up as needed. It's so not a big deal. Anyway, after you pat them dry, put them in the appropriate baggie that is labeled and chuck them in the freezer. Freezer secret number two, what to do with your yogurt. I used to buy this amount of yogurt, but my recipes would only call, call for half of it. My family doesn't eat yogurt on a regular basis, so this was just mold. So let me show you how I tackle the yogurt issue. After I finish using what I need for the marinade, I take the leftover yogurt and I measure it out and put it in a freezer bag with a label so next time that for say marinade or salad dressing or a soup, I can just grab this from the freezer. I haven't wasted any money and haven't wasted any time and now I'm prepared for the next recipe. Freezer secret number three. Let's talk about lemons and limes. You know, you get your recipe ready, you finally have all the ingredients and you're mixing your marinade and lo and behold it needs lemon juice or lime juice and oh my gosh, it's so frustrating because you're not going to run to the store. Ah, so let me show you what I do with lemons to make sure that I always have lemon and limes on hand for whatever recipe comes my way. For the lemons and limes, you simply cut it in half, look there, and then I chuck them in the freezer. So I have a whole baggie of lemons and limes. When I need them, I just grab them and put them in the microwave for uh, 10 to depending on your preference, or you can just leave them on the counter. And then I use my lemon or lime squeezer, and voila, I always have a supply of lime or lemon juice ready. Freezer secret number four, herbs, especially dill. You know, I'm not gonna use this whole thing this evening in the salad, so there's gonna be a lot of leftover, and the next time I need dill, it's probably not for a couple weeks, but it's gonna turn mushy and moldy by that time. So let me show you how to make this a freezer-friendly option. Dill, obviously keep whatever you're gonna need for today's recipe, and then we're going to rinse and just kind of shake off the extra water of the dill that will dill in the freezer. You can put it on salads, you can put it, mix it in sauces. It tastes as fresh as the day you froze it. Freezer secret number five, how to cook once but eat twice. Let's talk leftovers. Where I make pasta sauce, like this vodka sauce with tons of veggies in it or pureed soup, I double the recipe and then I freeze the rest. Freezer secret number six, I mean, a lot of families will go through this amount of spinach in a couple of days, but if you don't, after about day five, it starts looking a little wilty. 
In order to prevent that, you can take this entire container and you put it in the freezer and it freezes exactly like this and then you can take it out, you can saute it or you can put it in your smoothies and it's not going to be that mushy stuff that we had at the, at the grocery store. Just remember the stuff that you usually get from the grocery store that is in the freezer section has been blanched and then frozen so it looks gooey and mushy. If you put this in the freezer just like this, it stays like this and you have multiple uses without throwing money away. And the last and final freezer secret is number seven and what to do with these cans. You know, if your recipe calls for half a can of coconut milk, well, what are you gonna do with the other half? Oftentimes we leave it in the can, but we know we can't be leaving it in this can for long term. And then you put it in a container in the fridge and it molds in the back. Oh, you can use the, put the other half in a storage container and put it in the freezer. Don't forget to label it. Same goes for the beans you don't need to use, for tomatoes, and especially tomato paste. This one always calls for like one tablespoon and in here there's like probably four different servings. So don't hesitate to use your freezer containers and freeze the leftover. It will save you time, money, and energy. I hope this video was helpful in giving you some ideas on how to save money, time, energy, and more money. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and leave me comments and suggestions so I can come up with content that will benefit you and your families. And lastly, I have tons of back to school tips in my latest book, The Rule of Five, A Parent's Guide to Raising Healthy Kids in This Unhealthy World, which you can get on Amazon or in my caption below. I'm Dr. Anna Maria Temple, and I hope you feel inspired, empowered, and educated to raise wonderfully healthy kids in this unhealthy world with going back to school.